Welcome back guys, it's the Tightwad and today I'm working on a few TVs. I'm going to show you one in particular. These TVs were all hit by lightning and just wanted to note that anytime you open a TV be extremely careful not to touch anything except for the screws and the connections to the cords that you are manipulating because they can pack a pretty strong electrical punch that can cause some major harm. This TV has no power whatsoever, no lights, no status light, no nothing. So we know that it was hit by lightning and I think we have a pretty good idea which component is bad but the first step is opening the TV. You can see that there are holes all along the top of the TV, down the sides, and across the bottom. You need to remove these screws as well as the screw in the power housing right here. So remove your screws to reveal the internal components of this TV. Once you have the back off the TV, you'll notice there are two circuit boards. This is your power board. Uh, your cord, power cord plugs in right here. The other board is called your main board. This is the board that has all your ports to plug in your devices and your um, cable box or your satellite box. The set of TVs I'm working on all were hit by lightning. Doing some basic diagnostics, you can tell if it was the power board or the main board that went bad. If your TV was plugged into a surge protector and the surge protector is blown or other devices connected to the surge protector are no longer working, then it's likely the power board. If your TV was plugged into cable or a satellite and the box that controls the TV was blown, you can assume that it's probably the main board. It could blow both boards, but it's not very likely. When looking for parts for a TV, it's always important to know the model number. It's usually found on the back of the TV, and you can see the model of this one is the E390-A1 from Vizio. But just check the back of your TV and look for the sticker. Each one of the boards has part numbers. You can go to shopjimmy.com and type in the model number from your TV and then look through the list of parts for the part number that you found on your main board. Order your main board and replace it. All you have to do is remove the cables the same way that they're plugged in. So there's one, two ground, three, four, five cables. And then there's one, two, three, four screws. It's a simple process to remove this board and replace with the other one. Each of the cables has a small clip that you press in and you simply pull the cable out. After you've detached the cables, remove the screws and pull the board free from the TV. If you think the power surge came in through the power outlet, you can test this fuse right here. You can test this using a continuity tester if you would like to. There are other spots on the board that you can test to see if the correct voltage is leaving the board on the DC side up here at the top. Tampa Tech has some YouTube videos showing how to test these voltages. In my experience, if one of the boards is bad, it's easier to just replace the board unless you are skilled with soldering. I do realize it would be better if you actually saw me removing the board and replacing it, but this was filmed before I had a tripod. The TV did work after replacing the main board, but then one of the other TVs that I had did not work after replacing the main board, and it ended up being the power board instead. I hope you guys found this video helpful. If you did, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. If you have a different issue with your TV, check out some of the other videos linked on the screen right now, and maybe they'll help you. Leave any questions you have in the comments section below, and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. I hope you guys have a great day.